Lots of rain in the forecast for my weekend off, unfortunately. So rainy day project, I'm going to paint the inside of the camper, all these walls here. Uh, the bedroom and the bathroom were done last spring, so I'm going to do these this year. These walls here haven't been done since I first got the camper four years ago. So I went and picked out my color. Um, I set it up against the walls and actually it looks very similar to the color <laughs> that's already on the walls. Yeah, I wasn't really planning on that, but that's okay. It will still freshen, freshen the walls up a little bit. Um, and you never know, sometimes with paint, it really does make a difference um, when it's actually on the walls. So we'll wait and see. Not quite sure how I'm going to tackle this yet. I might, these are stick on uh, tiles. I might end up pulling those off, painting them behind there, obviously, and then just replacing those with more stick on tiles. But yeah, one thing I definitely have to get done is removing these here. These were for the blinds that were covering the windows when I first got the camper. All those things do are, is collect dust, dirt, and soot. Anyone who has a wood stove knows that these things can make your walls pretty dirty. When you're opening the door all the time and feeding it with wood, sometimes smoke rolls out and... Yeah, your walls can get pretty dirty. So obviously, first things first, I will have to wash down all these walls. Um, it is going to be a pain, though, because I'm essentially going to have to paint the walls twice. One coat and then a second coat. Well, I managed to get all of the blind holders. I don't know, what do you call these things? Anyway, I got them all off of the tops of the windows. But you can see... You can see that I just left them there before and painted around them. But yeah, so now I've got a bunch of holes to fill in. It's probably going to look funny once I fill these and paint over them. It's going to look like this. And these holes are here from the valances, valances, I don't know what you call those things. All RVs have them. It's like a, some type of material thing that goes across the top of the windows. I removed all of those off of the windows because I thought they looked horrendous. So, yeah, I guess when everything's painted the same color, maybe you won't notice as much. But, yeah, that's done and out of the way. Tomorrow we get started on washing down the walls and painting. You guys, I am truly over this. It's 6.30 in the morning on April 18th, and this is what I wake up to. This is why I have not dewinterized the camper yet. It's just above the freezing mark, and I actually woke up because there's enough snow on the tree limbs. You can see that that after it rained a little bit the snow is being saturated with the rain and falling off the tree limbs and landing on the roof and making a loud thud <laughs> so that's what I've been listening to since 5 30 a.m. also I have no idea when those lights started to come on but yeah maybe a spider crawled in there and flicked the switch. So I was just grabbing some wood to bring inside to the wood stove and I found this little nest here. Every year there seems to be one of these in the woodshed. I think last year it was a, a weasel. I'm not sure if this is another weasel or what that belongs to, a squirrel maybe? No idea. First things first, I'm going to fill all these holes here, all these screw holes, with this DAP acrylic latex uh, silicone caulking. Get all the holes filled in with DAP, heating up some water on the stove. I've got some TSP Plus. This prepares surfaces for painting. You mix about a cup of this in with four liters of warm water. 
and wash down your walls with it. It's supposed to be good for cutting out all the dirt and getting the soot off your walls. I'm taking things off the walls and just look at how dirty these walls are. I washed these walls down last spring, so just over this winter, that's how dirty they got. That's pretty damn gross. Another thing, don't make the mistake I did, I put, let's see if you can see in here, spray foam all along the seams of the slide out because I knew it was going to be in a fixed place. Didn't want any drafts coming from along the edges of the slide out. So I put spray foam up there, but it gets absolutely disgusting and filthy and it's really hard to clean because it's not like a flat surface. It's very lumpy and has folds in it and everything else. So it's going to be interesting trying to clean that. I don't know if I'm just going to paint over it or what exactly I'm going to do. I probably shouldn't even be showing you guys this because it's absolutely horrible. Look, there's cobwebs up here. Ugh. It's going to feel so much better when these walls are washed down and repainted. I honestly just think it's going to make it feel clean in here, which is really going to be nice. Put this thing on. I'm in painting mode. Okay, so now I can really see how similar the colors are. I started to cut in and I mean you can kind of see this color here is more of a bluish green and this is more of a very light subtle blue. Yeah. It's really hard to see the difference, especially in this lighting, but you can just barely see the difference in the two different shades. <laughs> there isn't much of one. Roller pan, you can just take a compostable bag, put your paint in here, so when you're all finished you can just throw the bag away and save your pan. I just have a little bit of paint here in this yogurt container. Saves having to lug around this big gallon. I have put a double coat on this wall and a double coat on this wall over here. And this one here and so far with these two colors it doesn't look like much of a difference at all it really just looks like I repainted it the same color but this wall is hella dirty which it is it's disgusting but I guess that just goes to show you that you like what you like because I thought I was picking out a different color and it turns out it's damn near the same color as the last paint I do notice a subtle difference but I also live here. I don't think anybody else is going to notice a difference when they come in after this is painted. But you can see there's the old blue and filthy walls. And there's the new blue walls. I still have to pull the tape off. It looks a lot cleaner though, I must say, and feels a lot cleaner. I can't wait to get all of this. Maybe you can notice a difference from this angle. Does anybody else find that with a brand new propane regulator it'll whistle kind of loudly like that when you're cooking or using the propane? Because that's actually happened to every single one that I bought in the very beginning. It whistles like that. No idea why. <laughs> Maybe somebody can tell me. Kind of a mystery. Hot water coming through. All right, so I've done my limit for the day. It's supper time. That's as far as I'm going. I've got from there, this wall, this wall here, the outside of the slide out, up above, the inside of the slide out. And I even got inside this little cubby in here. It's still drying, of course, but once these walls are dry, I can finally put back the solar charge controller, mount that back up on the wall. But you can definitely see up here as far as I went with the paint. I stopped right here, of course, because another day when I've got the chance, I'm going to take all this tin down and clean it. 
Um, in behind it, there is cement board. It's just kind of like an additional barrier, heat barrier, I guess you could say. I'm going to take all that down, uh, wash the wall in behind it, and paint the wall in behind it. And then I've got to do all this back wall here. I'm also going to paint this gray area. That's all going to be painted as well. And over here. It is pretty crazy how close in color it is to the last paint that was on the walls. I mean, <laughs> I wasn't planning that one. I was hoping for it to be a little different, but it looks very, very similar. Like I said, there is just a small, subtle change in color. But honestly, I'm just happy with the fact that the walls are clean and they're freshened up with brand new paint. Uh, half the walls, anyway. actually stuck pretty well, I'll give it that. Hate to do it, but I'm gonna order some new. I picked up some Rust-Oleum Painter's Touch. This stuff sticks to plastic. It's heirloom white. So it's kind of like an off-white because I want to paint this air conditioning cover, but I don't want it to be bright white. I don't want it to be this color white because then that's going to make the ceiling look filthy you see that's why i went with this heirloom white it's kind of like an off white i figured that would maybe match the ceiling just a little bit better i'm also going to paint these things here they're like speaker covers so i'm going to paint those with this as well don't know if i'm going to go as far enough as to take these all down maybe at some point i will but not today yeah, it sucks that these older RVs, you know, the plastic turned this yellow color because if you look at the inside of this, I mean, of course it's not clean, but it's much whiter on the inside and then you flip it this way and it has like a yellow tint. And it seems like all the older RVs have plastic that does this. You got the plastic on the lights up there that turned yellow, plastic in the showers that turned yellow. I think when most people paint their RVs, they go ahead and they paint all this too, you know, all the wood grain stuff. My fridge is that old wood grain. Honestly, I don't think I'm that ambitious. That is a lot to paint. Like if you look at every part of the camper in here that has wood grain, it's a lot. I did this over here in the corner and that's as far as I went with it. I mean, I'd have to take off every hinge every handle to do all this. Oh, goodness. I did go as far as painting the hinges and the handles black on these cupboards here, those ones all along there, but something happened over here. I think I just got lazy with it or, yeah. Those turned out not too shabby. They look a lot better than they did. It's also nice to get this stuff done before the black flies come out because now I don't have to worry about the black flies landing on my paint and drying. Oh! Oh my goodness. Okay. That didn't quite go as planned. Here we go. Ew. See the color difference? Yeah. Alright, let's make this yellow look somewhat white, eh? That looks a whole lot better. See, I didn't want it to be a bright, bright white and make the ceiling look really dirty, like I said. So this color, I think, is perfect. It's just, it's sort of like an off-white, but that looks a whole lot better than it did when it was yellow. Definitely losing the sun. It's the time to get a second coat on this thing. Good morning. It's the next day and it's time to get started with the painting again. Check this out. I put this thing up last night and I think it looks a hell of a lot better than it did. It's no longer a huge eyesore. 
Got the speaker covers up here as well. Those were painted and you can really see the difference between the yellow and the lights and the speaker covers now. The next thing to tackle, which I've already removed the tin behind here, is to take down all of this and the cement board. I'm sure there is probably four years worth of cat hair and dust and dirt behind these things. Okay, take a look around for a second. <laughs> now is when I find myself asking the question, what the hell did I get into? I'm trying to take all this stuff down, the cement board, the spacers in behind it, the tin, and wow. It's, first of all, it's disgusting behind here. This is kind of what it's like to have a wood stove. That's four years of dust, dirt, soot, and cat hair. And look at the ceiling. The lighting's not the greatest, but that's pretty dirty under there. Anyway, once I finally get the rest of this all removed, <laughs> part of me is wondering if I should just scrap the wood stove and get a diesel heater. Comment down below if you think I should scrap this thing and replace it with a diesel heater. I have everything vacuumed that I could kind of around here, around the corners, the walls with the cobwebs for the most part. I do need to obviously wash down the ceiling there and probably everywhere else. Finally, I got the first coat on this wall here, this wall here, and this section here. Time for intermission. I deserve a beer break, right? Let me just show you what it looks like when you're painting inside your RV. Chaotic! Okay, so the second coat of all the blue is done. Done everything. Now I filled in all the screw holes over here and I'm going to be painting this area gray. Well, okay, I am officially done painting in here. I've got two coats on all the walls two coats on the gray walls back here. That's it. It only took me two days, <laughs> but it's all done. And I have not put the tin and the um, cement board or anything back in behind the wood stove here just yet. I'm trying to figure out what to do there. Still have all the screws or some of them anyway. Yeah, just kind of leave those there until I figure out what I'm doing. Still have the holes in the ceiling from the tin, I, the floating tin I had up there. Um, yeah, figuring out what to do there, but I've somewhat got this place back to rights and cleaned up for the most part. One thing though, I did not paint the walls inside of the cupboards. I mean, they look the same because the color <laughs> Looks a lot like the old paint, but that is the old paint in there. So at some point I would like to paint inside the cupboards. I have to do in here, this one, all of these in behind the microwave. Obviously that's not priority right now though. I just wanted to get what you can actually see from the outside. I do have backsplash ordered for back in behind the stove here. Uh, just like peel and stick backsplash. It just makes things easier to clean, you know, when you're cooking here and you've got food splashing on your wall, it's just super easy to give those tiles a wipe. Would it look good if I painted, you know, the wood grain cupboards here that are all over the place? Absolutely. Am I going to do it? Absolutely not. <laughs> it's way too much work. I just spent two days pretty much painting just this section. I already did the bedroom and the bathroom last spring. So I'm not going to do all these because I know that doing those in another four years I would just be something else I'd have to repaint and I'm just not committed to doing that. I might paint this though because uh, who has a wooden fridge?
I don't know what it is about this year, but there are a ton of ruffed growths. I hear them all the time, see them all the time. I think if I had snacks, this guy would come eat out of my hand. Woo! Yep. <sighs> Peace. We're ending the video. Say goodbye. I think they're too interested in treats. Rory, there's a treat right here. Like, what? Uh, there you go.